Good morning, and today is already a good day. It's Friday, first of all, but the most important thing is J. Cole just released his new album. So no coffee for me before training. I'm getting hyped up on this. Again, I saw somebody asking in the comment section if I train by myself. As you can see, not a person in sight. I do indeed train by myself. It was hard at first actually training by myself, just kind of figuring out different ways to motivate myself because you don't have training partners to be there and push you. But, you know, I think that this has kind of made me stronger. It's been probably about two years now that I've been training by myself. And now I feel like I've almost got the upper hand on everybody else because I know how to motivate myself by myself and not use any external factors. And the lockdown as well, uh, when COVID first struck, uh, that was another test of trying to find different ways to motivate myself so uh, you know there's so many different tests like that throughout your life and um, just recognizing that those are the certain tests and challenges that make or break you essentially This is David. He's got a better camera than me. <laughs> circuit done that's we done gymnastics for the day uh, for a big stretch right now Days like this, I'm so happy that I've got these meal preps because I wouldn't have had time to go home and you know make a meal and then come back and do some filming and photo shoots. So to be finished training straight away and then hop right into this delicious meal. Perfection. I'm on sea like mantra be undeniable because we believe that was what we needed to do. Rather than talking about it, rather than saying it, discussing it internally, it's time to prove it, it's time to show that we are undeniably the world's best pommel worker, and so that is our, our mantra moving into to Tokyo. Work it, girl. <laughs> You've always wanted to do that. Sorry, make yourself dark. You're all good. <laughs> I think the shot that you were kind of referring to was like that. Yeah. 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 But they were like, oh, can we get something for social? So I came up with like basically a mini documentary. Cool. I want to do a kind of dramatic. Yeah, yeah. Make it look cool. Open on an empty pommel, 
and it's kind of just like the sound of a door closing, echoing, and it's Alrighty. punching close. And then we start to hear like a crowd mm. come in, and then it cuts to kind of footage of you at competitions. And basically, you know, like commentators, yeah, yeah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. and then cuts back to you getting back into the gym, lights turning on, you know, back with my coaches, you kind of come in, high five, right, let's get to it kind of thing. You know, and it's just like cut, 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 yeah. cut, cut, all really quick. <laughs> yeah. so like I'm sitting down editing this video here and I realised that I didn't give much context behind a couple of these scenes and the context makes it even funnier because we're filming this video shoot for a short movie and there's no audio in these scenes so pretty much what we're told is me and Luke are meant to have these pretend conversations that makes it look like we're talking about gymnastics and skills but we actually talk about absolute nonsense and try and do a little bit of improv so that's why we are in fact talking about nonsense yeah i'm going to include that this was your only job well no make sure that you right. like make it really inspirational like I mean, anybody can do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's like we got time for control. You want straight there. Just straight there. Seven hours, no stop. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that would work. Really? Yeah. Has anybody stretched your leg in a straight leg position for seven hours? Some me, some men dream things that never were and say, why not? Yeah. It's us. I see. I. I can think of many reasons you why get not it. to do All that. Right. Excellent, you get it. <laughs> okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> Were you involved in the design process? Yeah. yeah. They're really cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. Perfect. And we've got one with a smile. Just, yeah, stand as you were, sorry, yeah. What can I be? My camera died six hours ago. That was one long day, so pretty much what you guys missed was just filmed a couple more little videos and done some more promotional stuff. It was a long day. So it's now 11 o'clock and I'm just home from Dublin. It was a long drive as well, but hey, it's the end of the week. We get a nice rest day tomorrow. Rest up my mind, rest up my body back at it again um, the next day so <laughs> I actually had a two minute outro done there on my phone but it's not even worth showing you guys because I was just so tired and my energy levels were so low that I couldn't even do an outro for a video even though it was a very long day of filming and photography it's still part of my job to do that that's almost part of the job description so obviously get training done that is the main focus get competitions done that is also the main focus but then outside of that and sometimes obviously the photography is in the gym but outside of the gym as well those are the things that i'm lining up and that's also my work and just part of my day-to-day -day life as well as uh, organizing those photo shoots collaborating with different companies and different projects and it's it's an honestly quite exciting part of the sport is being able to step outside of your comfort zone and challenge yourself in different ways apart from gymnastics however i'm much more energetic today i had a very chilled out day actually today and uh I went and picked out a sofa for my mom and dad's house and went and got some coffee with my friend and some lunch and it was a nice chilled day really i've just sat down to edit this video and it should be out on saturday evening hopefully i also want to show you guys this so this is my new hard drive it's a five terabyte hard drive so i had a one terabyte hard drive and just with all this raw footage that i'm gathering with this camera because it's shooting in 4k as well there's just so much data and so much gigabytes being taken up so i'm glad that i invested in that big hard drive because it'll just it, it's already made things easier it's made the editing process a lot quicker so i'm glad that i have that and hopefully have a lot more videos coming out with a lot less stress hope you all enjoyed the video i will catch you guys in the next one